the praise and greet the church and the peace of the Lord Jesus. Let us stand up in reverence to the ring of the word of the Lord. Psalm 116. Okay. We're going to read a couple of verses. Love and gratitude towards God and His salvation. Amen. Has everyone found? I love the Lord. Why? We thank to the Lord for He is good. He is mercy. Because He inclined His ear towards me. And I will call upon Him for as long as I live. The ropes of death surrounded me and anguish from hell took over my life. And you'll find sadness. So then I pleaded to the name of the Lord, saying, O oh Lord, deliver my soul. Merciful and just is the Lord, our God, has mercy on us. Now verse 7. Come back. Come back. Come back, my soul. Until rest, because the Lord Has blessed you because you, O Lord, has delivered my soul from death and my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. We praise you, Lord, and give you thanks. We're thankful for your goodness, for your love, for your mercy. Bless be your name, Lord. My peace be with you. I will do much more through the meditation of my word. I see how much you desire to hear my voice. I'll make you make you realize this uh, my spirit brings refreshing they strengthen us it's this spirit that shows the way and take us away from this evil world come to my presence a few of you have already participated in the banquet doing the praises uh, bring joy and peace to each one of you. I will speak to many more through the message. I will be pouring out of your, my Holy Spirit. <coughs> you know your lives. Pay attention, my children. Your ears and minds. Pay attention, because through the mouth of my anointed, I will speak, I will be using my word like a, s a sharp sword that will go towards your necessity 
and it would say, only the Lord is God. Glory to Jesus. Everyone can sit down. As soon as we arrived to the presence of the Lord in Brazil, I participated uh, of, on a couple of events in, in the church. And those events, the youth always sang songs, vigils, uh, confraternization at the end of the year, or a wedding. And the song that they sang would say the following. It was a question. The, the youth would say, sing, and it would say, does Marcus love Christ? And then Marcus would answer, yes, I love Christ. And then youth and, and the cry, choir would ask, why do you like, love Christ? Christ? And then he w and then Marcus would answer, because he died for me. Hallelujah. And this text that we just read tonight, it's a psalm according to what is written, a psalm of gratitude to God for my salvation. For our salvation, the psalm I'm uh, following says, "What am I going to give to my Lord for all the benefits that He has given me?" It makes reference to a cup. The cup that should should have been for us, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He drank of this cup in our behalf. We've read a couple of verses that says, I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my plea. And then we might think a God that hears you a God that hears me a God that is paying attention to my voice a God that is sensitive to my plea to my supplication to my prayer a God that cares about me a God that cares about you, my brother and sister, who entered here tonight. It's a God that pays attention to us, to your life, to your steps, to your feelings, and the thoughts of your heart. There's a song that says, There's no God as great as you, not even one. There is no God that can do the deeds that you can do in your behalf and my behalf and our benefit. And he says, why has he reclined his ear towards me? Because he has reclined his ear towards me. We see the greatness of our God. Because he inclines, he comes close, he humbles himself in order to come close to man. And the Bible says, he inclined to me his ear. The ears of the Lord have inclined towards each one of us not only now but throughout uh, the course of our entire lives the Lord that inclines to hear us the Bible says my brethren of the moment in which God inclined 
And we see back in the Old Testament, at a time of a people who is called the people of God, and this people was in a foreign land, a land that didn't belong to them, a land that was not the land of the promise of, of the Lord, it was not a good land. It was not a land that flows honey and milk. And the Lord comes and says, I've seen with great attention the affliction of my people. And then he says, I've heard their plea. And he goes beyond. He goes deeper and says, I've known their pain. But this God that you serve, that I serve, that we serve, it's not God that only sees our affliction, that hears our plea, that knows our pain, but is a God that comes down to deliver us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And more than that, it says the following in the book Exodus. He says, "And I'll make you go up to the land. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is the God of the promise of a new heaven and a new earth. It is a God that gave us the right to live with Him in His eternity. And how did it happen?" was through death or and uh, how God humbled himself in the cross of Calvary he took up upon himself his pains he took upon himself our infirmities I was was upon Jesus when he where was Jesus? What was over upon Jesus? It says in Isaiah 53, it says, Our pains and our infirmities. It was Him who took them. He was Him who took upon Himself your pain, my pain, our pains, our infirmities. He was the one who took the sin that was mine. He's the one who shed his blood instead of mine. That's why you and I need to love our God because of his sacrifice in the cross of Calvary to demonstrate how much you, my brother and sister, how much you are important to him to demonstrate His love towards you, yours and my life, to our lives. Because He inclined towards me His ear. So I'll call upon Him for as long as He lives. As the recognition of the, well, what God has done in our behalf and in our benefit. Robes of death surrounded me. Robes. He was surrounded. He was un untangled. He was tangled and was imprisoned. He was sentenced. He was sentenced to death. And when man is sentenced to death, he knows when that he is going to die. The first thing that happens to the man that doesn't know the Lord is feeling the anguish of hell because the wages of sin is death. Because if you believe in Jesus, you're saved. But if you don't believe, then comes the anguish of hell. Jonas, servant of the Lord, disobeyed the Lord. 
And while he was all entangled there, it says, anguish of hell took me over and found sadness. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because when we are shackled and or imprisoned in the ropes and the anguish of hell, there's no more solution. There's no way out. We remember the Lord and He comes with His mercy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I have I had found sadness and now he was rejoicing and praising the Lord because the Lord had delivered him from each one of them he says then I called upon the name of the Lord and said Lord deliver my soul the greatest gift my brother and sister is my soul Because that's what is going to go back to God. And it says, Oh Lord, deliver my soul. Oh Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. And the Lord came to do this. He came to deliver our souls. Like I said before, to give us a place in heaven, to give us rest. Because our soul needs rest. That's why Jesus said, come upon me and you find rest to, us, to your souls. Then he says, the Lord is just. Our God has mercy. There's a text also that says from anger in anger remember in anger remember your mercy but we sometimes forget to say this we cannot forget of the mercy of the Lord because the mercy of the Lord is a cause that we are here a life and it renews every day every morning And God has used of mercy upon our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you're here, if I am here, it's because as used of mercy towards me and towards you. And he says, come back. My brethren, now it's time to go back. Then he speaks to him with himself. He says, My soul come come back, my soul. He is requesting to his soul to go back. To go back to the place of its origin. To go back to his house. Go back to his inhabitants. And the Lord Jesus made this promise that he was going to make will make us our souls return you are so precious to God you are so so precious to God that the Lord has promised this return the return of your soul to our homes to the eternity with God Come back to your rest, my soul. And it's also an invitation. Invitation for the soul man. How many souls are so distant from the Lord? And they forget that this is a God that hears and inclines and delivers and is merciful. And is blessing. And is supplies all things. Sometimes we are uh, anguished with hell and we forget that there is a place of rest for us. There is a place of rest. 
And the Bible says that the Lord Jesus is our rest. He is our rest. Come back to Jesus. Come back to the presence of the Lord. Come back to this um, wonderful God that tonight has already heard your uh, plea and knows your affliction, your pain, your suffering. The Lord has already provided all things to bless you, to give you comfort, to deliver you, so that you may glorify Him. Your soul will be saved. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And He concludes like this, because you, O Lord, the Lord is the owner. He's the one who has all the power and all the authority. And when I speak to the Lord as He is my Lord, because I'm His servant, because I'm willing to serve Him and follow Him, and to hear and obey Him. Why? Because He is our God, our Lord. Because I elected Him to be my Lord and my guide, to be my owner. We need a, an owner. And if you give your life to uh, an owner that is not God, you're going to go through difficulties. But this owner who is the Lord, He will supply to all our necessities. Because you, O Lord, He says three things. He delivered, you delivered my soul from death. Physical death is not important. It's very easy. It's not a problem at all. Everyone is going to die. If Jesus doesn't come soon, I will be also going to die quickly. Everyone is going to die. But here is speaking of the death of the soul. Speaking of the second death. And it says that the Lord delivered us from death the death of the soul he my eyes from tears uh, tears speak of suffering so he delivers from the second death the death of the soul he delivers from the suffering because the suffering is, is, is only for this life not an eternal suffering he delivers me uh, and my feet from falling because when a fall is because of temptation, God sustains men so that men does not sin, so that he may continue walking on the project that God has established for him, so that the name of the Lord may be glorified in your life. So then, those are the mo the reasons. Maybe you enter in the house of the Lord, you want to know why do we love the Lord? For all of those reasons. So now, why do God love me? Why does He love me? Why does God love us? Have you thought about this? What have you done? What have I done? To deserve the love of God. The grace of God. The mercy of God. I didn't do anything. Well, I have done actually bad things. So then we see that the love of God is different. It is great. And it is unconditional. So he, the psalmist, he, he explained why he loves God and love God for this, this and that. And God loves us because He has chosen to love us. Because His love is great. Because His mercy is great. And because you, I don't know you, I don't know why me, we are special to Him. And now, to bring this message to a close, I'm going to give you witness. I'm going to give a testimony. About 20 years ago, 26, 27, 
There was a group of friends in my city. They were all youth. And one died, the other died, the other died. There were only uh, about six left. And I liked a lot. I liked uh, to dance a carnival. And for all, for all, was I, I loved to dance. Whenever they started playing s the samba, I, w I was dance dancing. So then on a Friday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, it would go the entire week, and they said they would stop on Saturday, but it would not stop. My wife was suffered a lot because of my lifestyle. And then I went prepared. And I had a uh, beverage, alcoholic beverage with me. I went to a carnival and then at 9.30 of the night, I opened up a can. I tried to open the can, I couldn't open it. Then I heard a voice. The voice told me, get out from there. But I loved to to dance on carnival. So then I heard a voice once again, get out from there. Then my knees started shaking. I felt like this bad feeling. Then I saw that that day was the day that I was going to die and I was going straight to hell there's no way to be different my actions or my contribution my wages were all there and I was going to receive my reward then I heard for the third time leave that place otherwise you're going to die And I left that place. Because God loves me. But I love the Lord because delivered my my life from death. My eyes from tears and my feet from falling. Amen.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed and exalted is your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Now we're going to have a, an adoration to the Lord. A word of glorification. Hallelujah. What's your name? I'm going to praise the Lord. Because one day, you chose us, Lord. There's a love as great as, as your love for us, Lord. This love has brought us closer to you, Lord. Has made us remain your presence, Lord. Lord, we praise you and want to declare to you all our love because we love you, God. We love you, God, oh Father. You are deserving, Lord. We, we love you with all our being. We desire, Lord, one day to meet with you, the day in which Maranatha will be fulfilled. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Blessed be you, Lord. We're praising the name of Jesus. Glorify, Lord. And give your praise to your holy name. Oh, souls, uh, uh, it's coming back to your rest, Lord. We praise you because you're good. Because great is your love and your mercy towards our lives. We praise the Lord. And give you praise for the service, for your people, your church, for our souls that are being saved. Because we know, Lord, that sooner we'll be with you in your eternity, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Because soon, Lord, Maranatha will be fulfilled in our midst. 
take us home in peace, Lord. Under your protection, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. And in your name we say, the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our good and eternal Father, and the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be with you, the people of the Lord, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. The serve has come to its end. You who are here with us tonight, you are very welcome to this place. Our service on Wednesday at 8, 8 p.m., Thursday at 8 p.m., Saturday at 7.30, and Sunday morning at 10.30, and Sunday night at 7.30 of the night. And you are invited to come back and to be with us more times. If you desire prayer for our life, a clarification of the word, Remain where you are and raise your hand. And we are going to give you the proper assistance. After the assistance, there is a meeting with Group B. Thank you. 